While the euphoria around the Grammy wins and what it means for the Nigerian music space continues, it has sparked more conversations around operations and structures within the industry. In our next interview with serial showbiz entrepreneur Idris Oluronimbe, we highlight the role of investment, government attention, and talent development within the showbiz space in Nigeria. For a while now, Idris Oluronimbe has been putting his money where his passion lies, the showbiz world. Having worked with some of the biggest names in the Nigerian showbiz world, including Don Jazzy and his Maven crew, Iyanya, actress and singer Bisola Yola, the Temple Records boss has dared to ply in an industry filled with so much uncertainties. The sheer number of people that we know that have talent and have um, difficulty in expressing that creative talent is what pushes us. Yes, um, the industry needs a um, better structure. But who is going to structure it? We have to do it ourselves. And that's why we have thrown our hearts into the ring, by demonstrating that we are here and we mean business. And together with the people who are here now and the people who have already um, left their marks, we're going to build on that. And essentially, um, it's, um, there's only one way to go up. The producer of the critically acclaimed movie Meet the Kujos, Olaru Nimbe also runs the one-size-fits-all Ogidi studio. We've said it is where talent meets infrastructure. It is a machine that is souped up to make dreams come alive. It is a place where you can come with an idea and live with a product. It is the ultimate in terms of um, um, creating um, content, be it music, be it animation, be it um, film, whatever it is, Ogidi got you. Recently, Nigerian singers Whiskey and Burner Boy caused a frenzy after winning the coveted Grammy Awards Prize for their various works within the international music space. These wins have sparked a conversation on what are the various gateways for creatives to showcase their works beyond their immediate environment. Well, I think that um, we have um, enough um, platforms um, locally and internationally. I think that um, um, these things have also been so simplified that, I mean, you can harvest your market on YouTube. You know, so in terms of platform, I think what, what is important is for you to create content that will be desirable, for you to create something that people want, because there's absolutely, without a doubt, demand. So, but when there's demand, you have to supply. But the supply must meet a quality level that um, Ogidi can, can provide for you. The Nigerian entertainment industry is largely driven by passionate individuals with only little attention from the organized private sector and the government. This Grammy win has now directed more international attention to the Nigerian creative world and it's time to take full advantage. I'm convinced that a major um, component of the um, solution to our challenges lie in the media and in our schools. By educating our people with <laughs> bite-sized, di easily digestible information that tells them and, 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 and helps to model them, their minds. So it's been done everywhere else in the world. It is now time for us as a country to use the media to create the Nigeria that we want by putting our vision in our films, in our music, so that our children who are watching can be educated and can watch it and dream of that Nigeria. For as long as we continue to show a Nigeria that is broken and is not working, then that is what becomes our reality. If you remember from a long time ago, America was showing us movies with driverless cars. And people started to dream it. So we need to start to showcase the Nigeria, our children's Nigeria, that we want them to see. 
by encouraging people within the creative industry to create that content that they can learn from. Thank you.